autonomous driving buses are equipped with the latest technology all around the route a lot of 5g radars are located to communicate fast and efficiently uh, with, the, with each other you can see here all these radars and sensors are located all around the bus to make it safe to drive all these sensors cameras radars can detect people cyclists another car buses obstacles and the radars has a range of 200 meters can detect people and objects of 10 centimeters it's really crazy how this technology works it's just amazing you never thought you never imagined uh, how close we were from this technology you saw this on the TV uh, all these sci-fi movies I never imagined I was going to be able to ride one of these uh, autonomous driving buses in my life and here I am testing this kind of awesome technology that is being developed here in China I've shown you a lot of different places and a lot of uh, different technologies are being developed here in China and these autonomous driving buses is one of them it, uh, I was in Beijing like a month ago showing you a little bit about the exhibition center that Baidu has in Beijing. Another video I made I remember uh, about robots technology. It's like a vending machine that it was placed uh, in a park and they have these also kind of sensors to avoid crashing against people and avoiding obstacles. China is already developing a lot of uh, these products and technology for people to use. right now in one of these autonomous driving vehicles uh, not as large or as big as regular buses you will find within the city it's actually a little bit smaller uh, the capacity of this bus is for 13 people and you have all the things that you will find on a regular bus the seats are very comfortable you have air conditioning and inside the bus is equipped with a lot of uh, cameras as well and radars to detect if there's any unsafe uh, situation. Uh, people can just come here, board and scan maybe the QR code to pay for the ride and then just board and go. Easy you know, to see like an actual vehicle that can drive by itself. And you can see behind me, they have these screens here. The one in the bottom is a camera that is pointing at the driver because of course, uh, this is a level four autonomous driving vehicle, which means they should have a steering wheel and they should have a safety driver uh, behind the wheel to, you know, make sure there's no any inconvenience. And if there is one, he will take the wheel and actually drive the bus. And the one on the top is the actual vehicle with all the radars and sensors that is actually also picturing in the screen all the vehicles and all the things that are going around. It's just crazy because we were riding the vehicle and I saw on screen, uh, you can see the one in the middle of course is the bus and the little blue dots around are the different vehicles or cars that are passing by or cars are passing around. So you have a cyclist, you have uh, another cars, you have motorcycles, uh, you have people and these riders can identify all of them and picture them on this uh, screen. So the system actually can know that. I was going to say the driver but there's no driver here. So this is the information for the system.
we came off the bus a little bit to check these radars. You can see here, these radars are set all around the circuit and the route to facilitate a communication uh, between the buses, the autonomous driving vehicles and the central. Of course, these radars will use the 5G technology to make the transfer of data way easier. Remember, 5G is the latest technology for communications that is already set up in most of the territory of China. Now we came to the testing center of Baidu Apollo project. Here we can see they still have a couple more models. Uh, one is the red one, the one we tested this morning, and there is this one kind of like a pot. It's a little bit smaller. It's a huge network. There's a lot of information, a lot of data. And here inside, they also show us a little bit about uh, how they manage this data. A lot of cameras, sensors, radars, in order, of course, to make all these autonomous driving safely. You need to interconnect all this huge network with the autonomous driving vehicles, all the radars, all the cameras around the city, all the traffic lights to make it very safe and very efficient. more like a pod it's quite different from the previous one because it doesn't have like steering wheel it doesn't have a driver of course just a person uh, taking care of the control panel just in case something unpredicted happens but of course it also has all the sensors radars and cameras that the previous one has so it's uh, an interesting experience because of course we're inside this kind of a pod uh, or a shuttle bus perhaps going around this uh, small campus and there's no driver it feels so weird but it's so cool at the same time folks i'm gonna be wandering around nice and beautiful places here in china and documenting about it i will also be instagramming my day today and my trips in this awesome country Feel free to follow me and leave your comments and impressions over there about life in China. I will leave the link to my account in the description down below. Remember to like the video, subscribe to my channel and hit the bell button so you don't miss any of my follow-up stories about what's going on in this part of the world. If you think there might be someone else interested in these kind of videos, please consider sharing. My name is Rafael, thanks for watching and stay safe until next time.